It is a beautiful night here in Omaha, and joining me now is I, I have five-time Olympian Dara Torres and her daughter Tessa. Thank okay. you for joining me. Thanks. It's so good to see you. It's been a while. We were on the 2009 yes. team yes. together. Worlds. Which, yeah, Worlds, which Rome, I just got back from Rome about three weeks ago. Oh, nice. Brought back so many memories. I'm sure. What's it like for you? I know that you just got here today. What's it like for you to be back at Olympic Trials? Well, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It brings back lots of memories. Yeah. The one thing I did realize is that it's okay that I'm not swimming. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd get her and be like, okay, should I be swimming? But I was like, no, nope, I don't even have a, a tinge of wanting to swim. Really? So, you, yeah. you, you don't want to jump in a suit and jump in the warm-up I don't think anything? people would want to see me in a suit right now, probably. <laughs> <I doubt that. laughs> so no itch to get in the water. What no. about you, Tessa? Do you have an itch to get in the water? No. No? What's your favorite stroke? Um, You're a swimmer now, right? Breaststroke, yes, I am. Breaststroke? Where did you learn to love the breaststroke from? Uh, not from mom. Right? Yeah, not no. from mama. <laughs> <laughs> I just liked watching and it looks like a really cool stroke. It is a really cool stroke. She's good at that stroke. I'm, <laughs> breaststroke was the one, I think breaststroke calls you early on when you're younger. Yeah. And it's kind of one of those things that you just get better with. Yeah. So we just came out of a piece with Gary Hall Jr. And I know that you probably spent some time with some teams. A little teams. bit, yes. Yeah. Do you have any favorite memories of Gary? I have to tell you, I think my favorite thing was when he walked out at Olympic trials in the boxing outfit. The that was just so <laughs> Gary Hall Jr. Yeah, I, I, it did. You know, everyone was like, "Whoa!" And I'm like, "That's him." Yeah. You know, it, it just it was a perfect entrance for him. That's. And I actually asked him yesterday because he used to do the boxing moves as well. Right. And he said he started doing that in high school, long before oh, everything wow. happened. But so I think you'd appreciate this. Yesterday we were having him walk around, and he was carrying a little kiddie pool over his shoulder. <laughs> and nobody acted like it was odd at all. They were like, oh, hey, Gary. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> so okay. funny. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Not at all. OK, so Phelps has a chance this Olympics to become a five-time Olympian. It's a club that you're a part of. Yes. Um, what does that mean in terms of expectation or pressure? Did you feel like it was easier at that point, or what can he expect? You know, I think the biggest thing for me was going into my fifth Olympic Games was people were saying, making such a big deal about age. Mm -hmm. They don't realize you actually have an advantage over everyone because you've been there, you've done it. It yeah. doesn't mean that you're any less nervous uh, yeah. than you were from your first Olympic Games, but you know how to deal with the pressure, and yeah. I think he definitely has an advantage with that. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, I'm really excited to see how his how his swims continue to shape up. He had a dominating 200 butterfly today. Oh, it was great, today. yeah. Yeah, it was fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, totally Michael Phelps fashion. Right. Didn't seem too pleased though, but we'll know, wait till finals. He did. I'm curious what he's going to throw down tomorrow. Oh, I know. I, I think he, it didn't look like he was using his legs much either. So it should be interesting to see what happens tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm excited to watch that one. So let's switch gears to Katie Ledecky. Now, okay. Katie is somebody who started out as really a distance swimmer and was swimming the 800, the 1500, moved down to the 400, and now is competitive in the 200 and the 100, which to me is unprecedented. I mean, it's such a vast expansion of events. What is that? Like, when you're looking at that, can you imagine swimming the 50 and the 1500? No. Uh, no uh, the 50, yes. 1500, no, <laughs> never. Like I got that. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's amazing. There aren't many swimmers like that. You have a Phelps who can swim everything, yeah. Ryan Lochte, you know, but there really aren't a lot of swimmers that are so versatile. And especially, like you said, the distances. You see the 50 and 100 freestyle, and she goes from the 1500. I mean, it's just amazing. I, I've never seen anyone do that before. And, and the amount of training for each of those varies so, so much, in my opinion. You know, training for a 200 is entirely different than training from an 800 to a 1500. So for her to be able to do that consistently, I can't wait to see the impact that she has. Oh, it's going to be great. I, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to seeing her in the 100. Are you? Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. I know, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm curious what she's going to go out in at the 50 and if it's just completely dominated. Oh my gosh. Her, we'll see. <laughs> I'm, now I'm glad I'm not swimming since she'd probably swim at 50 too. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so I know that Tessa, you're swimming now. Um, what is your mom like on the pool deck? <laughs> uh -oh. She always wants me to hurry up and get dressed really quickly because she always wants to get home. Right? I think that that's a common mom trait. They're always like, hurry up, let's get out of here. But you know what, when she was six, like in Massachusetts, I, you know, when in Florida, you're allowed on the deck, parents walk around, but yeah. in Massachusetts, you're not allowed to. And I was like, but she's six, I have to go change her. And yeah. she's like, mom, I got this. And I'm she's like, okay, so <laughs> totally she's, independent. Uh, she's pretty mature for her age. Yeah. What's yeah. it like for you to be back on the pool deck? Are you having, I doubt you're like this, but do you have a stopwatch in your hand? Or are you just sitting back and enjoying no, the show? No, I just kick back, <laughs> enjoy the show. I wait till she's up and I cheer her on. And she hates it when I, when I yell, like I take videos of her. And Is she loud? I'm screaming, go. <laughs> Tessa and she gets so Very upset. Loud. Oh, Very be loud. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so She's the only person screaming. She's the only person. Well, that's awesome. My mom, I right? feel like, was the same way. And that I, lo I appreciate that approach because my mom was the same way. She actually was world famous for her Cooker's Cooler. She used to pack <laughs> so many snacks, and nice. everyone would just feast off of all of it. And she left me with some great advice that I continue with today. She said she would always say, you know what, swimming is really important, but you're not a swimmer. You're a person who swims. And right. for that's me, it advice. was yeah, it was good because it when things didn't go well in the pool, it wasn't my entire identity. 
and I'm right. grateful for that. So I'm so excited to see you continue <laughs> to compete, have fun in the breaststroke. Thank you. And thanks for coming on and joining Thank us. Thank you. Too. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Great to see you. Yeah.